Welcome back everybody, DreadBC. Coming a little bit later in the day, it's, uh, hang on, let me adjust my mic a little bit closer to me here. Okay, a little bit later in the day, it's, no, that's too close. <laughs> okay, it's about 7.15 p.m. Later start than I typically get because uh, I had things going on early this morning when I first got got up. And uh, so I'm getting to my, my uh, reward quest a little bit late in the day, but today's daily quest is to cast... 20 red or white spells. We're not going to be playing Boros because I don't have a lot of what's necessary in Boros. Instead, there's a favorable wins list that's kind of a budget list that I kind of wanted to try out. Loaded down with white spells and a couple of blue spells that are also white. Um, just going to run down quickly from top to bottom. Two Healer's Hawk, four Rustwing Falcons, four Dive Downs as, as protection from spot removal, four Ops as draw, although I think Chart of Course might be a little bit better. I might actually switch that. Um, we'll leave it at Opt for now. Three Aegis of the Heavens, three Concordia Pegasus, which is basically a 3-3 with this deck because we run four high alerts. Um, it's a, this is essentially six copies of the same card. One three flying, one three flying. This one just happens to be a Pegasus. This one happens to be Vampire Soldier. So, Four favorable wins, four Night Vale Sprites to help us dig. One Resplendent Angel because I had it. Why not? Three Senate Courier. It's a 4-4 four, four for three, which is pretty good in this deck. Two copies of Dovin, because I had them and I think he would work in a deck like this. Four High Alerts and 19 lands. Only 19. We've got a very low end. Our top end is three. And the odds of drawing three lands are pretty high, even with only 19. As we see, nothing goes higher than three. So, the purpose of the deck is to get efficiently costed flyers onto the battlefield as soon as possible. And then to swing out with the favorable wins for extra damage so let's see if it works and i really do hope this is picking up my voice okay because it's looking like it might be a little quieter than normal so if it is i apologize if not disregard that was fast so we've got a lot of life gain in this deck which is going to be very helpful in the best of one because there's so much red all right, pretty good hand. I'm actually just going to go ahead and burn myself on turn one to make sure we can cast Rustwing and then Concordia and then possibly Night Vale later. Actually, no, we're going to do Night Vale second because they both attack for one. Oh boy, here we go. Is this how today is going to be? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, that's taking longer than normal to reconnect to a game I was already in. Well, that's making me think the worst of my internets. Let me test this with another site. Well, it's working. Nothing wrong there. I wonder what the deal is. Well, that's strange. Well, that was strange. So, got disconnected, couldn't reconnect, decided to close it out completely, restart it, and we got a victory. We won our first of two games. So apparently they also disconnected. Not sure what caused it, but let's give it another whirl. Starting off with a victory, though, not going to complain. I will complain if it's the only victory we get today. Although, given the kind of budgety version of a deck we're running here. Uh, wow. Just wow. I will keep this because that is insane. <laughs> That's so many Rustwing Falcons. Go ahead and pay the two. Get them out there. Next turn, Planes, double Rustwing. We are playing against Pizza Grease. Not Pizza Grease. He's a different person altogether. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Oh, it gets better. We are so opened up to a board wipe right now. Tap out. Growth spiral. I will allow it. I'm glad that... Oh, man. This is just going to work out all too well. All right. Do your worst. That is just a top-tier opening draw. I don't think the Growth Chamber Guardian Biomancer's Familiar is going to be quite enough to stop this onslaught. Yep, he saw it too. That was pretty absurd. Um, <laughs> I mean, we would have lost. I mean, L-O-S-T with a capital, you pick at least two letters to any kind of a board sweeper to include just a red two damage to all creatures. Oh, it would have been so bad. But yeah, he realized very early there was no way he was going to come back. eBay BMXer. Okay. All right, got the nickel bolus background here. Okay, we've got our colors, but no turn one. Opponent does go first, so I think I'm going to keep it. Hope to actually draw planes to get this healer's hawk down at least. This is not a fantastic hand. We don't have a lot of creatures going on, but planes, no planes. We didn't get our high alert. Oh, pfft, what am I doing? You. Just want to make sure that we have blue and white on turn two. So this could be bad. We'll see. Play the sky blade. Might as well use our mana most accordingly, or uh, most efficiently. Because then next turn we can play Healer's Hawk and leave open a dive down. Dive down in this deck is the same as it is in Arcades because of high alert. It gives basically plus three, plus three. Menace Death Touch. Okay, you got it. Um, yeah, I guess we'll uh, get in for one. No reason not to. And Healer's Hawk, go. Would love to draw land here. Hmm. Sorcery spells you control have death touch. This is not going to go well for us. I can feel it. Yep. Yep. I don't actually mind that. I want to keep the healer's hawk around more. land. Alright, that's good. So we're going to play the high alert. Although, actually, I probably should have played the courier. But this way, if he's got a burn spell, it's just, I mean, it's going to kill a 1-1, one, one, so... Okay, Chupacabra. He's playing a lot of value here. Probably not going to win this. Swinging in for 5. I'm at 11. Well, looky there. I'm getting another spam call. This one's from Georgia. Okay. Fun. I think what I want to do is I want to hold... I'm going to play the Pegasus and hold open Aegis. Well, nah. I mean, I've got Dive down, too. I'll play the Courier because it costs more. All right. Pass the turn. This is the best thing he could have against us right now. It's just really bad. He will kill two creatures or just keep attacking for three per turn. Alright. What is he doing with this? Hang on, hang on. Get out of my way. Yeah, okay, resolve that so I can read the fucking card. There we go. Three damage to target opponent, that player discards two cards. Okay, well, in that case, I'll just discard these. Actually, I should have kept one. That was dumb. I'm just going to attack with the 3-2, I'm sure. Okay. That seems silly. Might as well hold back the Chupacap. Okay, well, I'll take a 
No, dumbass. Go to blockers. Block. Free Chupacabra. Unless he's got a way to return it, which I'm sure he probably does. Alright. Lifelink. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Something with lifelink. Eh. Well, let's do this. Cool. We don't have the mana for both of them because we only drew one white mana this game. Well, that's fun. So he's going to get in for a minimum of two, which means if he has an instant or sorcery event... You know what? I'm not even going to bother with this good game crap. Screw you, eBay BMXer. Your deck sucks. Ours just didn't do anything. Yeah. I said it. I hate people who give you the good game on your turn. Like, oh, well, I got you now, buddy. <laughs> Okay, this is bad. This is worse. One land, I don't want to keep a one lander even in this deck. This is worse. Concede. Not going to bother going to four. We're already playing out all of our stuff by turn three. Congratulations. Free game opponent. This is not a top tier deck, so I'm not going to play like it's a top tier deck. I'm just going to try and draw a decent hand. That's why I didn't enter into a tournament of any kind, because I didn't foresee this thing doing much winning, if you will. It just seemed like it could be a fun idea. Maybe steal a couple games like we did that first one. Okay. This is a little bit better, but not great. We have a nice turn two. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna... <laughs> what is the deal today? Well... Fonger 22. Let's see if we can have an actual game this time. Good lands. I mean, I guess. We're definitely going to be opting on turn two at this point. Unless we draw an untapped land, I'll go ahead and play this. Turn one forest. I like that. Turn one fountain of renewal. I'm not terribly offended by that. I'm just going to do this main phase. No reason to pretend like we have a spell pierce. No, sir, I don't want that. That works. Yeah, Aegis of the Heavens is fun. We are playing against blue-green turbo fog. I guarantee... Oh, maybe not. That works. We'll play this guy. Because it blocks that guy. And might as well opt. Yeah, I don't want to play the Resplendent Angel yet. Actually, I'm going to keep the Night Veil Sprite too. No reason to run out the big stuff yet. Go ahead. Attack for one. Because I don't think you're running Titanic Growth. Geyer Engineer. You are ramping hard, aren't you? Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get all of the things out here. Eh, do I want to run that? No, I think I want to run two things out as opposed to one. Because then next turn, I kind of want to play Dovin. Free attack. Got to start doing something about that. I mean... He's now got six mana. It's going to be really hard for us to come back from this. He's not going to be able to cast his um, Nexus of Fate this turn at least. So that No, I'm sorry. He is going to be able to. But he's not going to. Okay, great. Well, let us Dovin into a counter. Frilled Mystic. Okay. Oh, Growth Spiral. Okay. Did he draw on the gate? Frilled Mystic now. No Frilled Mystic. All right. Well. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Not just moving on up. Ingenuity. Let's see what we surveil. I don't think I want that right now. I really want to draw toward my high alert. 
Does he block with Terrymander? This incentivizes him to attack with the Engineer instead of using him as mana, although I'm pretty sure he's just going to cast this really big-ass creature and uh, draw a bunch of cards. Or just go off. I don't know. Maybe Nexus. That's fine. Attack Dovin for five. Cool. That works. Alright. Wish I had a one drop. That would have been sweet. Can't kill that with anything I've got because I don't have my high alert yet. So I think what I want to do... I'm going to throw something in front of it. I just don't know what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and do this. This is gaining us five life every time we do it, so... Uh, nah. Don't care about you. And I think I'm just fine throwing this guy out in front of it. I kind of want to keep the surveil. Okay, Frilled Mystic, Dovin dies next turn. That's fine. route. There's a really good chance that this turn he will be playing his Nexus of Fate and attacking in. Okay. I really don't care as much about Dovin. He's good in this, but oh gosh, come on, deck! Give me, um, give me my damn high or my high alert, please. That's all I ask for. Is that too much to ask, sir? Well, not what I want. I don't foresee us winning this one, folks. Well, no reason to pretend like we're going to do something special here. I'm just going to throw down a blocker that gets mystic. He's going to attack back for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Or maybe just 15. And probably cast a big-ass uh, dude. Yep. Saw that coming. Okay, play another one, adapt it, I to point out we've also seen exactly three lands this game too, there's, there's a bunch more in here, okay, 15. And there's our fourth land. Nice and on time. Yep, I'll scoop it up. The power level of the blue-green is just way too high. Moving on. That deck always seems to have Frilled Mystic at least two copies in hand whenever I play against it. It's like they have so many copies of it. Just go back and watch my videos and watch how many times I've been hit by a Frilled Mystic in the past few days. This is good. Um, I suppose this high alert might actually land. We'll, we'll see. Pelt Collector, okay. This is a mistake to pay two life possibly, but we're doing it.
blue green again because why not right we'll get the sprite down a little less power but a little more control over the deck all right hadanas okay blue green hadanas crime choosing blockers um no blocks we can do that next turn or turn after <sighs> Well, let's just attack first. Don't think I want that. I'm going to opt as well. See what we draw here. I want to keep that, though. That works out. All right, are you going to pump the pelt collector? Flip Hadanas? No, no, no flipping the pelt collector. No pumping the pelt collector this time. So that's nice. No blocks. Next turn, he's going to be attacking with that guy for at least six. I'm sorry, at least eight. So we've got to get in for some real damage here soon. Next turn we can play both of those. Does it give trample? It gives it flying, right? Flying in XX. Does it and it already it will have trample. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. So we're dead. Okay. Unless we draw. Aegis, which we're not going to draw because we knew what we were going to draw. Shut up. Don't fucking say good game yet, home skillet. Because you can't do seven damage with everybody you've got. And if I draw Aegis, that's going to be good. I uh, will dive down be enough. View battlefield. Two, four, six. Yeah, dive down could be enough. other way to pump somebody that can swing in because I'm just going to block your two biggest ones. Okay. Did that before combat. That seems kind of strange, but okay. Alright. Adapt away. Alright. Well, that was a mistake. A five, six, seven, eight. I can block with these two. Taking three. Oh no, that guy's got trample. That's right. That was a mistake. But oh well. I I forget about pelt collector's trample because I've literally never had a pelt collector on my side have trample. Well, we had him next turn. One more game. Yeah, this deck is bad. <laughs> This deck is bad. But hey, if anyone wanted to see what it looks like, this is it. Yeah, this is not a playable hand at all. Quick mulligan. This is a little bit better, but not amazing. keep that actually I think I kind of want to draw I mean I need the yeah I need the third land which sucks but whatever we'll see if they just go mountain I'm pretty sure I'm fucked but of 
creature. Bird. I do like the art on that. It's a really good looking bird. A Healy 2 is thinking really hard about his play. I want that flower to like poof. Alright, where's our scorpion friend? We need something to do. Scorpion? Anybody? Hello. Welcome to the game. Alright, got a lot of money that says we're going to see a Kaya's Wrath in this game. Do we see a blue-black land? Okay, no blue-black land. We're not getting thought seized or um, thought erasured. So high high alert will hit the, hit the deck this game. My turn. I'm actually going to play Senate Courier because if they don't have it on turn two, the odds of them having it on turn three are pretty slim. Okay. Does he kill my falcon? I killed him on the falcon. Okay, well that works. Hmm. Looks like we've got some Abzan action going on here. Unfortunately for us, Abzan does run Mortify. Or they do have access to Mortify. we got to get in with our damage whilst we can. Does he have it? No, he doesn't. Okay, I can deal with that. Cool, we've even got the backup too. So, we're going to take out the Poison Tipped Archer by attacking. He might block the 1-4 just to kill it, but then we can do 3-6, 8 damage this turn, and then Skyblade next turn, or nah. Let's just attack in. If he only blocks the Rustwing Falcon, I'll dive down at once. Okay, easy enough. Say good day to your Archer. Yep. It resolves. And then play this guy. If he has another one, we could be in trouble. I mean, we're not drawing much, obviously, so. Ooh, looky there. I love that rose. You got it, man. We'll block here. She can take a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Trade it away. She gets a couple counters. Alright, gotta kill gotta handle both of our creatures. Which if he's got a Kaya's Wrath would be fine. Okay. She creates vampires, not flyers, so that's cool. Good game opponent. Three high alerts. Just to go ahead and get us a little bit closer to ending it. She has fucking lifelink. I forgot about that. I thought this was over. <laughs> Damn it! They're going to fucking pull through because of lifelink. Fuck! <laughs> oh, Dovin, you worthless sack of shit. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God, lifelink. Seriously, why do you do this to me? Well, this deck is shit. I've only got to cast one more white spell this game. So, I'm going to play, whoops, nope, a Nesper mid-range. At least I'll enjoy this game. It'll play good cards instead of just lose, 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 back to back. You know, other people play, I, I didn't come up with this deck myself. I did not, this is not my idea. It's my take on a deck that I saw MTG Jeff play. 
he did pretty okay with it. Apparently he's better than I am. This is a bad hand in this deck. I'm going to mulligan. This is also bad. Yeah, I'll keep it because it'll help me draw into my lands. Turn two Mortify, not Mortify, turn two Discovery here. Nice and exciting. If he spell pierces this, I quit the game. I actually kind of want both of these, but I don't. I think we've got enough turns over the next couple, or enough things to do over the next couple of turns that I'm okay with taking both of these. Treasure map away, buddy. Alright, you're playing blue-white. I'm guessing you're probably going to be dropping a black mana and killing this. No, maybe not. Let's see if we can get him good here. Did he miss his land drop? Oh, there you have it. And I still didn't cast a fucking white spell. Son of a bitch! Well, it was an unexciting hand anyway. Let's try again. Yeah, it sometimes can be fun to build decks, but honestly, Standard was supposed to be in this big state of upheaval for several weeks. It's not. It went very quickly into uh, here are the decks. Now everybody go ahead and hash them out to where they're perfect. Let's make Esper a stronghold. And let's make Red Burn a stronghold. And then blue green with the crisis and all of their other counter spells and such is just going to be ridiculous. Turn two thought erasure into turn three and turn four thief of sanity, maybe even a hostage taker. This feels like almost the best possible hand. I love this card on turn two, if for nothing else, just the surveil one. But it really does change the way the game plays. Starting with a... Uh, ah, you know what? I don't want to let him know that I've got white. Ooh, yes I do, don't I? Shit. Now I'm thinking this is going to change the way I play this. Enter's tapped. I think I'm going to play hero first. What are we up against here? Okay, I can take this deck out. Nice, okay. So we're going to go hero... He's going to give Ajani some sort of pump. That's fine. I will Thought Erasure him next turn and have a blocker. Uh, actually, no blocks. Jesus. Well, I kind of want to just do this now in case of some weird trick. Let's see what he's got. He can respond with a Mortify, but he didn't have it. Return target creature to its owner's hand. He's got two of those. Revival. Wow, this is mean. How the fuck... Which, what do you take from this? He's got two great tempo cards and then one that's even better. I think... Warrant is better, so I'm going to take that, and I'm actually going to leave that on top. Because him putting it back on top of our deck is much worse than putting it back into our hand. Okay, Healer's Hawk it is. Uh, no blocks, I'll take the two. Because now... I have a feeling he's probably... Well, he doesn't have the blue mana, so that helps. Okay, so if he draws blue mana, it's going to be a little bit worse for us. His, his Ajani's is going to start growing. 
three hero of precinct one. And next turn, it's going to be hostage taken time. My take is pride mate. I'll take your pride mate, but I'll never take your pride. Uh, yeah, we'll block here. That seems easy enough. Alright, you got it. He's back. And... I think I want to go ahead and just hostage take his bird to get it out of the way. For now. Because I want to get in there with this thief and start doing mean things. What you got for me? Binding? Ooh, that's nice. Healer's Hawk number two. Hmm. I actually don't care about the Healer's Hawk, so I'm going to take the Binding. Flash it on old Pride Mate there at some point. Can't attack or block. Well, he'll just return this to my hand if he draws the blue mana, or if he kills it, he'll get his Healer's Hawk back, and it'll basically be his whole turn doing that. Uh, yeah, easy block here. I'm not going to keep taking three when I've got free blockers. All right. Okay. Let's see what we do here. No blue mana again. What could he have? Settle the wreckage? No. He's just going to take a buttload of damage. Quit target. Okay, back on top of its owner's library. That's fine. Pay the two life for that. Put down another hero, because I care less about the healer's hawk. Good game, opponent. And we are rewarded with a very fun card. I really actually like this card. I haven't had a whole lot of chance to use it because I think I only had one copy and did not see fit to running my rares into it. I'm sorry, I was a little bit distracted there at the end. I got a text message from someone. A good friend of mine actually just got a job and she'll be moving to Houston. So, uh, Jenny, if for whatever reason you're ever listening to this, congrats to you. I hope your new job works out amazingly well and I hope you and your kiddos have a wonderful life down there. Uh, that being said, this is the end of this video. Sorry that it started out so poorly at the beginning. I'm glad we were able to get it together there at the end with an actual decent deck. I might actually just close this video out and then start recording that that deck a little bit more just for another, another something to go ahead and add instead of just doing daily quests most of the time. Um, I've really been enjoying that Esper mid-range deck, but yeah, look for more of that in the future, and I hope everyone enjoyed. I hope your deck building goes better than mine did, because that deck... Actually, let's do this right here. Let us export. And then shortly after I paste this into a window over here, I'm going to delete this crap. Anywho, take care of yourselves. Be ready for another mid-range video, and I've also got this Gates deck coming in here. Uh, it's going to be another video that I'll be recording soon, so... Look forward to it. Stick around. Go ahead and sub so you know when it comes out. Uh, maybe tonight, maybe uh, tomorrow sometime. It depends. Tomorrow I do go back to work, so it'll probably just be a daily quest. So we'll see. Good luck and good night.